I, I'm going to say a phrase right now that is, I think, my my favorite collection of words that were assembled today. And they are beautiful. And they just sum up the, the burning hellscape that is the 21st century. Today, the president of the United States of America was banned from Twitch TV. <laughs> I didn't even know he was on Twitch. <laughs> and I saw that and I was like, why would he be on Twitch? They like, that would explain a lot if he was just sniping around playing Skyrim all the time. <laughs> <laughs> they banned the president. This They banned the president from because apparently what happened was they rebroadcast his Tulsa rally. And that was enough to, to trip the censors and go, oh, no, no, this is hateful content. We can't do this. They broadcast his rallies on Twitch. <laughs> yep. Okay. And there's a lot of stuff. They don't they don't catch it live, but yeah. they do catch it when it gets on the video on demand. When, when that so they caught it and they're like, nope, we're not. No, thank you. <laughs> we banned the president from Twitch. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Your move. Yeah, your move, Twitter, because today was a bloodbath. Um, Reddit yeah, purged. Reddit kicked off all the fucking Nazis. Uh, 2,000 subreddits, 200 active ones, including uh, The Donald, that's gone, yeah. and Chapo Trap House, no loss there. Um, yeah. Something called Gender Critical. Yeah, that one, that one's... Which I understand <laughs> is just transphobia, but they can't call it that. Right, because, well, yeah. They're never honest about what they're actually about. Um, Facebook is having a terrible day because everybody, all of their advertisers, Denny's bailed on no, no. Denny's said this Coca Cola bailed a couple days ago. Coca Night and Cola. And just just for fun's sake, uh, Patreon said, "Hey, we, we matter too. We're leaving." Oh, that's that's nice, Patreon. That's that's okay. bless, bless your heart. I say this is. Sure I say this is my entire life. It is dependent on Ah, uh, so yeah, it's it's uh, it was a day. It was a magical day. <laughs> they banned the president from Twitch. Well, dude, his it, poor Baron. I forget what online game people found his anonymous profile. Fortnite. Yeah. Uh, of course, it was Fortnite. And somehow, people figured out it was him. And he had to delete his profile. Like, he, he can't play anymore. Mainly because they didn't set up his IP properly. Yeah, because he started getting all kinds of abuse. And, like, he's kind of the only Trump I feel bad for because he doesn't have a fucking choice. And, no, they, 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 he's going to grow up exactly the same as the rest of them. He's, like, 14 and 7 feet tall and stuck in this fucking dystopia. <sighs> and now he just got kicked off Fortnite. I think that'll be good for him in the long run. Honestly, there are better videos. I don't games. know. I feel like if like if those were my parents and that was my life, I would pretty much want to be online all the time too, just to escape. There are better video games than Fortnite. They are also free. There's Apex Legends. Do you think money is a concern for Baron Trump? <laughs> yeah, actually, think of who the Night f his nightmare of a father is. True. He probably has to like beg him for lunch money. Re remember that that story about when they had to pay. I forget it was if it was Eric or Donald Jr. Pay for his. Uh, no, it might have even been Baron paid for their Boy Scouts, and he 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 didn't pay for it himself. He took it out of his charity fund to pay for his own child's Boy Scout of America membership. Yeah, I do remember that now. They're just terrible people. Yeah. And if you want to sit in the YouTube comments and whine that we're getting political and that we hate America, you can go night yourself. We don't care. We don't give a fuck. Ooh, la, la. No. Not want one dusty fool. La, la. Nope. All right. Let's get. And with that being said, let's get the intro going. Come on. I said. I said, let's get the intro. Click on the thing. Go. There we go. Each week, Catherine, Radio Dead Air Alliance, go out in the worldwide interwebs and find all sorts of horrible stuff and bring it back here for a little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You? And I think we're just going to call tonight It Happened Again. Because I. 
there's that that meme from uh jumanji with with robin williams and he's like what year is it um i was thinking of the giant from twin peaks it is happening again yeah guess what um let's let's kick it off there um how the the how the fuck did this happen again Conservation efforts in Spain have called for a tightening of the laws covering restoration work after a copy of a famous painting by the Baroque artist Bartolomé Esteban Murillo, I actually said that, um, became the latest in a long line of artworks to suffer a damaging and disfiguring repair. Private art collector in Valencia was reportedly charged 1,200 euros by a furniture restorer to have the picture of the Immaculate Conception cleaned. However, the job did not go as planned. The face of Virgin Mary was left unrecognizable despite two attempts to restore it to its pre- Okay, so he... And it got worse. The first time he did it, I, it kind of looks like the... Oh, yeah, at least she's looking in the right direction. The second and... time, it went, he went all Picasso on that shit. It's kind of like if you took a photograph and scanned it on a shitty scanner. <laughs> And then took that scan and scanned it on a shitty scanner. <laughs> this is like a sequel. This is like a fucking sequel. Yeah. This is like, like the first one. If you told me like that was like a sixth, sixth graders art project, I would be like, that's really good, man. There's a, just, there's a consistent light source. There's shading on the lips. You got the shading and okay. The second one, I, I no, not so much. A furniture restorer. Yeah, that's not the same thing. It's not the same thing as, as an art I, what in the what in the name of God? Look, if I was put in this situation, I'd be like, I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. Yeah. I'm not going to do this. Yeah, here's your money back. I'm not qualified for this shit. Not, I'm not going to just barge on ahead and be like, no. how hard could it be? Like I studied art in school, and still I would be like, I think this is a little bit above my level. Yeah, hire an art forger. That's not a bad plan. Who said that? Uh, yeah, there not Abby. Yeah, to make it look the same. Eight years. Is this eight years ago? Eight years. It's been eight years since Reese's Christ. <laughs> eight years since we we covered it. Then too, it's like since we turn Jesus into a crooked St. Bernard. And of course, we have that picture here, not, not to be forgotten, what was came to be referred to as Monkey Christ. <laughs> Hasn't Jesus been through enough? <laughs> <laughs> oh, good God almighty. Yeah. But wait, I swear to God, I had to check the date on this one, so I'm like, did someone submit this one? We already did this. We did not. Man caught on video swimming in fish tank at Bass Pro. Again, we did this like three weeks ago. That was in Florida. This was Louisiana. <laughs> oh. A man who was caught on video while taking a quick swim through a fish tank in a Bass Pro shop been arrested in Louisiana, according to Fox 8. The man was seen on video by Treasurer McGraw swimming in the aquarium inside the bass. Is that someone's name? That might be. That's kind of amazing. Yeah, if someone named it Treasurer, it's Louisiana. Okay. You, you just kind of go with it. Um, Fox 8 reported, according to the Bossier City Police Department, 26-year-old Kevin Wise of Slidell is charged with simple mm -hmm. criminal damage to property. Um, complaint was filed Friday morning. After the Bass Pro determined there would be costs associated with emptying and cleaning the 13,000 gallon aquarium, features species of fish local to the region. This just. Yeah, they don't know where the fuck you've been. So they have to sanitize that whole tank now. 
People they don't know where the fuck you've been. People are gonna see this. They're gonna see this video. They'll be like, "Is this a fucking rerun?" And no, it's not. It's not. How do, how do you even do reruns on YouTube? It's not a rerun. I feel like what Bass Pro Shop should do if this becomes a recurring problem is just put piranhas in that tank. <laughs> Just put in something that fucking eats people. Yeah, and then just put a sign up that says, warning, fucking piranhas, you go in, it's your own fucking risk. Swim at your own risk, hillbilly. I I just, I, how the, is this a thing now? I mean, I know, like, they, they're closing the beaches, but <laughs> god damn. <laughs> this, is this, what Doesn't are you gonna... everybody down there by law have a pickup truck and a tarp? You can make a pool. <laughs> <laughs> hey Jamie, you got the you got tomorrow off. What are you doing? I'm going down to Bass Pro and jump in the tank. Oh, sounds like fun. Yeah. Who why would why the And those poor fish? Could you is this like a like a new challenge for like fucking YouTube or some shit? Or TikTok, I guess. It's a TikTok thing now. I, I have not seen this challenge on TikTok. The, the, and these people seem too old for, <laughs> says me, who's 43 and on TikTok. But like, the jump the in the bass. challenges are not usually created by people of our age. They're usually created by younger, cooler people. The jump in the Bass Pro Fish Tank Challenge. What the fuck is going on? Well, this is actually kind of a, I, I guess this is a novel one. We haven't done this before. Yeah, I, my experience with PTA and school boards and stuff is limited to like my mom, who was very active in it. Um, although I do remember at one point when I was in high school and she was involved in PTA, there was actually an infidelity scandal going around the adults of the PTA, which was kind of hilarious. Um, because somebody be fucking somebody else's somebody, and it was funny. Um, just. Then my mom was on our PTA and nothing like that ever happened. So why I bring that, that was probably the wildest thing that happened in regards to PTA and school board. But now it's 2020, it's it's the 21st century and things are different. School board member in Oklahoma spotted drinking beer during board meeting. I mean, it's Oklahoma. It's not just what they do. Is that not the norm? Parents are outraged after seeing a school board member for Western Heights in Oklahoma City drinking a beer during a recent meeting. Many parents are now questioning every decision she's made, and others are calling for her resignation. Because of one beer? Well, I mean, just... <laughs> like, if she was smoking crack during the meeting, I could understand. <laughs> but it's a beer. A time and a place, Tara. <laughs> Americans that, are so fucking puritanical about this shit, though. It's, it's a, a school board meeting. Look, yes, it's have a beer. Have you been to many school board meetings? Because I have, because my aunt was on the school board. They're boring as fuck. Shit a doesn't... beer might help. <laughs> if I had to listen to your aunt during a school board meeting, I'd probably want a beer, too. My aunt's a wonderful human being. <laughs> she can tend to go on a bit. A fucking tight. Was it a good beer? No, it was a Corona. Okay, well that I can see. That is a bad judgment call. It's a fucking time and a place, man. I guess, but I don't see what the heat... Like, I can see them being like, hey, don't do that. That's inappropriate. But now we're questioning every decision she's made. Come on. Well, it's parents. You fucking know how parents are. This is what I'm saying. We're so fucking puritanical. Like, no, this has nothing to do with puritanical. This is, has to do with the way parents are with their fucking kids. And the fucking school board. You either have the ones who just drop their kids off and let shit go, or you have the ones, the helicopter parents, who are all... I promise you, at least one of the parents complaining has more than one fucking AR-15 in the house. So you can <laughs> shut the fuck up about the school board drinking a beer. <laughs> I just, just shut the fuck up I first admit, I, if I'm on the fucking school board meeting, I'm like, eh, I can wait till I can wait another 45 minutes to crack open a cold one. In oh. fact... I've been to school board meetings that went like four hours. Yeah. Well, it's, once you they can, let the public talk, you there's can no wait end to the pain. You can wait. You have no, this. Don't drink beer at your job. 
Come on. Shit. It was an inappropriate thing to do, and I think she deserves a talking to, but all the parents are like, oh, my gosh. Well, and that's because parents... You've probably been drunk around your kids this whole fucking quarantine. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. They've been drinking while they've been teaching. Right. You've probably been lit off your ass trying to teach your kid multiplication <laughs> Just chill. <sighs> <laughs> oh, that, another thing is okay. Next story, and this one just f fuckers get like this idea in their head, but they don't think to what happens after the idea. It's like they don't think to pass the credits of the movie of their life. You know, <laughs> happily ever after. Well, this one is, 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 they, they did not think past, okay, part, this, step one, make, oh, no. make oh, a swastika yeah. out of pepperoni on somebody's pizza. Step two, step three, also. Why? Ohio couple says they were shocked and disappointed when they opened their ready-made pizza to see pepperonis arranged in the shape of a swastika. Alaska said he was on his way home from his mother's-in-law's house when he stopped to pick up dinner for his family. He grabbed a hot and ready pizza from the warmer at Little Caesars in Brook Park, Ohio. He got home ready to dig in when the couple opened the box and they found the symbol on their pizza. We were silent for a few moments, Laska said. Yeah, I think you would be. Because what's there to say? <laughs> like, I think we too would be like... <laughs> Is this really it? fucking... Do you, do you see it too? At least it's not pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> At least it's not pineapple, but... <laughs> Two employees, wow. two employees admitted responsibility and were immediately terminated. And that's the, how did you think you were? Right. What was, how the fuck did you think this was going to end? We're in probably one of the worst economic events of, of modern history. And here you are at your job. That you're put, fucking lucky to have, if we're being honest. Putting fucking Nazi pepperoni on a pizza and being like, oh, this will be fine. No, like, it'll, be, it'll, be, it'll be fine. This is a good thing to do. When say you're lucky to have that job, working food service sucks out loud. It does. It's terrible. But that's not an excuse to just straight up make a Heil pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Little Hitlers. <laughs> Hitler, Hitler. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how did you think you were going to fucking survive this what did you think was gonna happen i know right what would what was it you cannot do this and keep your job also like why was this funny to you i don't understand people who think nazi shit is funny like yeah what is the joke kids do this as a prank and i'm like okay tell me why it's funny Okay, but like, what's the punch? I don't think you understand what a joke is. Being an asshole is not a joke. That's not. Yeah, it's it. That's just being an asshole. It, it, right. There's, there's no a setup difference between those two things. They're not the same. There's no setup. There's no 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 punchline. No humor. It's just. I mean. But there's a whole subset of the population that thinks being an asshole is humor. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's this is one Hopefully of those. You're not even going to get even distribution of pepperoni that way. Which is <laughs> 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 oh, oh, all right. Well, we have. Oh wow! I think this is a first for the uh, stuffing shit down their pants genre that we have here on our show. Um, many things have been stuffed down people's pants. Uh, I know what's left for us? Chainsaws, meat, guitars. Well, this this one actually, I don't think we've done this. Have we done this one before? It's hard to tell. Man arrested after stuffing seven stolen bottles of wine 
down his pants. The wine was worth $794. All right. Let's start off by saying at least this dude was stealing something worth stealing. Yeah. Estero. I was picturing walking around the store and being like, that guy is really excited about being at the liquor store. <laughs> Quarantine has been really tough on this man. He's so excited to be out. Estero, Florida. Man was arrested for stuffing seven bottles of wine in his pants. And Estero total wine and stealing them. Oh, on separate, because I was just going to say, how did you even do that? that? Separate, three separate trips. So each time he had like two bottles. <laughs> okay. It wasn't just like seven just sit there around like, his crotch. Did he have like a strap system or something? <laughs> like, did he have like Deadpool pockets all over the place? He's got the new Ronco wine cellar in your pants. <laughs> Douglas uh, Bredeas, 48, 48, stole the bottles during three separate trips. He was arrested Wednesday at another total of wine. Wine was worth $794. Bredeas was I mean, challenged with grand at theft. At least he wasn't stealing like Boone's Wild Island. Like, at least he was stealing good shit. <laughs> so I just, said before, I never understood why people came in his store and stole a tester. Like, you're stealing. Go for the gold. This was the plan. He was going to walk into the store, shove wine in his pants, and just waddle out to his car. That was the plan. And it apparently it worked three times. Yeah. Fucker was getting bold. You guys all say in baggy pants, I'm not sure you understand how heavy a bottle of wine is. And also that it's glass. Yeah. Baggy pants aren't going to work. Like, you need something snug that will hold it. Because otherwise, it's going to fall out of your pants and shatter, and you're going to leave a trail of wine like you're peeing blood. <laughs> if it's a red, if it's a white, it'll just look like you're peeing. <laughs> well, the, the, Either the, way, you get in a wine. The, 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 funny, the, the funny thing about this is people are like, well, yeah, well, he managed to pull, pull it off. Uh, he did it in three trips. That was smart. No, it wasn't. Because what happened was... After he did the first trip, I bet you anything, if you worked in retail, you understand this. After he did the first one, the people watched him, the people who worked there watched him walking out, watched him walk back in, reached over and picked up the phone. And they called the police and they watched him the whole time he was doing the second trip and the third trip. It's not like he, he was probably sitting there going like, they'll never, they, they don't suspect a thing. And they're on the phone like, yeah, if he's you in it. Work retail, you won't know that in the in the back in the break room of every retail establishment in America, there are photocopy pages taped to the walls with screen captures from the security footage of the people you're fucking watching. Of like your repeat offender shoplifters or your high roller shoplifters, a picture of them and like immediately grab a manager if you even lay eyes on this person. And, and yeah, if if you're if if you're in, they're not they're not allowed to jump after you is the thing. No. So so just because they're not reacting does not mean you're getting away with it. No. It means they're getting the people who are allowed to stop you. I mean, the good news you got to drink the wine. Mm. You are gonna have to pay for it and then some. So I hope it was fucking good wine. All right, the last story tonight. Um, a long, long time ago, we had a story on this show, and it spawned a phrase and a thing that went on for a long time, rectal eels. <laughs> and we envisioned it as a cover band, and it just sort of... The official band of Radio Dead Air. We just, it just spun out. They had a Twitter account for a while. The rectal eels. And we thought, and the reason we 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 latched onto it was it was so outlandish. So weird. So also just saying rectal eels is fun. It, it, it was it was a what it was a, a shooting star, a once in a lifetime moment. Well, kids, they're or on so a fucking reunion tour. <laughs> Chinese man has his colon torn apart by a 16-inch live eel after sticking it into his rear to treat his constipation. 
Wow. Do they not have Pepto in China? They don't have Pepto in China? Chinese man nearly died after allegedly inserting a wiggling 16-inch eel into his backside to treat his constipation. Live fish tore through the man's intestines before dying and getting stuck in his abdomen for a week. You left a dead eel in your intestine for a week before you did anything? The unnamed patient, said to be in his 50s, claims he decided to use the creature to solve his bowel problems after following a folk remedy. Bullshit. Yeah, what? Bullshit. What part of being constipated makes you think, I want to shove more stuff up my ass? I can't, I can't deposit the stuff currently in my ass, so let me crowd it up a little in there. There, there is, I, I will, I, I, I put a challenge out to you. If anyone who is aware of Chinese folk medicine, show me the tradition of shoving live eels up your ass to treat constipation. Or not. Or don't. Because I, I I'm calling, this was, this had nothing, this was an entirely different thing he was doing. Which is, you know. <laughs> Patient underwent Emergency abdominal operation after his condition came life threatening. The surgeons were shocked to discover the dead eel while conducting the surgery. Uh. I don't understand leaving it there for a week. Oh, it's like, it's, did you think? Did you think it was just going to swim back out? It'll be fine. It's like when you hear a noise in your car and you just ignore it. It, it goes I'll away. Just, I'll just digest it eventually. Right. That's how that works. <laughs> And of course, once again, we have the rectum damn near killed him. Yeah, well, literally damn near. He did survive. He's going to be OK, oh. but Jesus. I mean, for certain values of OK. I, I would venture to say he wasn't OK to start with. And they even, they even point out the news comes after another Chinese man recently had a 10 inch chopstick lodged in his belly after inserting in his backside out of curiosity. We did that one. We did that one. Yeah, we're, we're and he, more of these. We could have a whole five course meal up there. There's the x-ray gang. I'll just let you. We got some chopsticks. <sighs> we got some eel. We need some rice up there. I don't know how you're going to pull that off. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. I never in my life. How did thought, you live like this for a week? I never thought this was going to happen again. Never, ever. No, I, I could. How long? How many years ago was the fucking eels? It was a long ass time ago. I had to be at least 10 years. Jesus Christ. I had to be at least 10 you years. You live like this for a week. A week. It shouldn't have happened the first time. No, it shouldn't have. No, John, it should not have happened the first time. Uh, we got the eel, we got the chopsticks, we got wine, too. That's true. We got, some, we got some nice wine. We could have a whole colonic meal. I'll be busy that day. I can't make it. Popcorn Junkie says, just admit you're into butt stuff and get some anal beads. Christ, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Just the right tool for the right job. Which is not a fucking lie. I feel kind of feel bad for the eel. Like, it's not even that weird to want stuff put up your ass anymore. That's pretty standard fare. That's not that weird anymore. I There's just, a cavalcade of products for that how purpose. Did, how did this, how did this specific sequence of events happen twice? Like, where did he get a 16 inch eel? Where do you acquire an eel that is alive? We're getting too many repeats now. Time to reboot RDA. Kind of, yeah, it really is. This is like when Jason comes back for like. Are they going to reboot us with like younger, hotter people? Probably, yeah. This is like when Jason comes like this is. Like, and then we'll come back and play their parents. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is this is the the Jason takes Manhattan moment for us. Not Jason in space? Not quite. We're almost there. Okay. But I'm, I'm going to... This is the Jason Takes Manhattan. 
fucking head. I mean, Jesus Christ, what the fuck? So I guess the first thing we learned this week is nobody's learning anything. We're no. trying, folks. We're trying to, to make wait raise awareness about We're apparently things, failing in our mission. About things which should be self-evident, like don't stick eels up your ass. Don't put any live animals up your ass. Oh God, ugh. Just no live animals deserve that. Um, and frankly, neither does your ass. We've learned that just because retail doesn't spring into action to 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 bring you down does not mean they're unaware of your criminal activities. Yeah. You idiot. Um we've learned that it doesn't end with what you, with your stupid fucking prank is not the end of it. Things happen after that. It doesn't just cut to black and yeah, it's not a, it's not a, making a funny face. It's not a smash cut to a freeze frame. Shit happens after that. Like you're fired. Yeah. Um and good luck when you go to a new job and they're like, why did you leave your last job? <laughs> <laughs> Can we call them as a reference? <laughs> yeah. Um We've learned that uh apparently Tara has a very low threshold for what you're allowed to do at a school board meeting. <laughs> I just think American society, we're so fucking uptight about like sex and alcohol, but then we're like, you're three, you're old enough to have a Glock, get out there. <laughs> <laughs> we don't make sense. We've learned Bass Pro needs piranhas. And finally, we've learned the most unlikeliest of things will keep happening again. It's, it's like... It's like a poem. It rhymes. It's you remember the second Matrix movie where every now and then there was the anomaly of the one. It's just glitches in the Matrix. Except That's what I was going to say. Really stupid ones. Rectal eels are glitches in the Matrix. It's when they change something. There's some programmer somewhere that's like, oh man, we got another rectal eel. Can you call IT? God damn it. We're the, like, this is the worst game of The Sims ever. 